Hi, I'm John Batham, Trailers from Hell. We're going to talk about Let's Kill Uncle, William Castle's scary thriller. Now, this film has a very special meaning for me, which we're going to talk about shortly. People often said Bill Castle was only a road company Hitchcock. But Castle was so much more than that. He was this gleeful self-promoter who would do crazy things, like put nurses in hospital beds in theater lobbies in case people got too scared. Audiences knew it was all hokum, but they loved it. And he was probably the first interactive filmmaker. Kill me. If anything happens to us, and it looks like an accident, he gets his hands on five million. Now, Let's Kill Uncle was really made without any of his famous gimmicks. He wanted it to stand on his own. And when the movie was made at Universal, I was the youngest casting director there, and I got to cast my own sister, Mary, who had played Scout in To Kill a Mockingbird. This is the American way, right? Nepotism begins at home. So in this little thriller, a 12-year-old heir to $5 million has to fight back after his evil uncle starts trying to kill him to get the money. The boy, Pat Carty, enlists the aid of a young girl, my sister. It's a good thing, too, because the wicked uncle, Nigel Green, has written a book on how to kill people. And he uses every trick in it to kill the boy, including sharks, poison mushrooms, tarantulas, fire, hypnotism. So the kids find the book, and they start giving uncle a taste of his own medicine. And the movie becomes this terrifying game of cat and mouse as the two sets of killers stalk each other. Nigel Green's the uncle. He's wonderfully slimy and scary at the same time. When you need a bad guy, use a Brit, that's what I say. So it goes without saying that, that my sister was actually brilliant in the movie, because I was over on the side, uh, you know, kind of directing her and helping her out. The bad part was that she paid no attention to anything I said. I mean, no respect.